Okay, today we're going to talk about the special sense of hearing. Obviously, you need an ear to do that, and so let's go over the anatomy of the ear. Let's start with the external part of the ear. You've got this flappy part here, which is right here in my ear. Um, that's what we call the pinna or the oracle. And then you've got this kind of swirly helical looking area that doesn't look very swirly in this model, but if you look in the mirror and look at your own ear, you can see how it kind of swirls around. That's known as the helix. Then coming off the helix, um, or, or coming down below it, you've got the lobe. You call it your ear lobe, but it's the lobule of the ear. And then you have this opening in the ear called the external auditory canal. So that's where sound travels in through there. Then you get to a part of the ear known as the middle ear. And I'm going to take the middle ear out here so you can actually see it. Um, the middle ear is composed of three small bones here, and we've got these in a plexiglass thing. I need to put them up against right, something on. dark. Am I going too fast? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Can you see those? Uh, hang on. Okay, but you, yeah. have, you have three little bones in your middle ear. They're called ossicles. It's the malleus, incus, and stapes. Um, the malleus looks like a mallet or a club. The incus looks like an anvil, like a, a blacksmith would use. And then the stapes looks like a stirrup. So if you'll just make those connections, those bones are easy to remember if you can remember their names. Um, but three, these three little bones um, are found in the middle ear. So if you take that middle ear out, um, the first thing that you're going to see is this tympanic membrane here. It's a, you know it as your eardrum. So when the doctor looks in your ear, and they're looking at that tympanic membrane to see if it's got that nice glass, glossy, shiny look to it or if it looks swollen or whatever. So that can help them determine things. And then you also have the three ossicles. On this one, you only see two ossicles. The third one's down here. But this bone right here, that is your, oops, sorry. That is your malleus. Notice it kind of looks like a club or hammer. And then you have your incus right here. And then the stapes is going to be attached right here. It kind of looks like a little stirrup right there. It covers the round, or excuse me, the oval window of the inner ear. So those are those three bones there. Those are called the ossicles, malleus, incus, and stapes. And then there's your tympanic membrane, is that clear uh, membrane that covers the opening to the inner ear. Then if you look in your uh, inner ear, you, I'm going to pull this whole thing out. You've got what I just mentioned, this oval window. So that's the one that kind of has an oval shape, but you've got that stapes bone kind of covering it up so you can't see it real well. Then you also have, going around to the back side here, you've got a round window, so it's going to be obviously round. And then you have the kind of curly snail looking thing here. That's called the cochlea, and that's um, involved with hearing. And then you have these three tubes coming off of this area down here known as the vestibule. So the vestibule is this kind of central area that you have the oval window on, the round windows just below it, and then you have these three semicircular tubes coming off of that. These tubes are filled with fluid. I don't know if you can see the fluid. It's not flowing very well. It would do a little bit better in your real ear. But anyway, they're filled with fluid, and that kind of gives your body a sense of uh, equilibrium and balance, and that's all part of the vestibular system that your instructor will talk about. Um, but all of this comes off the vestibule, semicircular, semicircular canals, the stapes covering up the oval window, then you have the round window here, and the cochlea, or the little snail-shaped part right here. And I think that's all you need to know on the ear. And you're holding the auditory nerve. Oh yeah, sorry. And I'm holding the vestibulocochlear nerve. Remember it covers both the hearing, that's the cochlear part, and vestibular, this sense of equilibrium right there. But your instructor will get into all that, but that's that vestibular cochlear nerve. Okay, that's it. Oh, wait. Yeah, you saw those. Never mind. Eustachian tube? Eustachian tube, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, sometimes when you have a cold and your ear gets plugged up, you can uh, kind of blow a little bit or either clear or unclear it, but you have this connecting tube right here known as the uh, pharyngotympanic uh, tube or eustachian tube, and so that connects your inner ear with your nasal cavity, and that's just that tube right there.